to the ETBU Coaches Show. Kenneth Mon here along with Marquis Robinson. And now we're here to talk with ETBU Men's Soccer. And just to clarify, this is not a mistaken identity. This is, in fact, <laughs> ETBU Head Soccer Coach Chris Crawford. Had a little shade, but that's okay. We can still recognize him, can't we, Coach? Oh, it's actually, yes. Yeah, it's actually growing back. It's, it's coming yeah, back. it's starting to grow back. You know, my beard can grow longer. <laughs> but anyways, forget the facial hair talk, Coach. Uh, you're coming off. A couple of tough games against some out-of-state competition. Had to battle with some weather here with uh, Tropical Depression, Gordon taking over. So just kind of talk about uh, the weekend, all the travel, just, you know, how y'all were able to handle that. Uh, yeah, I mean, going up to uh, Birmingham and then going to Georgia, uh, we knew it was going to be two tough games for us. Uh, getting away from campus for the first time, really getting a road trip with the guys, uh, kind of getting some time to bond together, uh, some more chemistry in that aspect. Uh, and played two really good uh, programs. Uh, Thursday's nice game uh, against uh, Birmingham, uh, Birmingham Southern was a great game. Uh, I think that we played very well for 70 minutes of that game. I mean, I was very ecstatic to where our guys were, how we were controlling the game possession-wise for the first half. And then second half, lost mental composure. Uh, something that we've been talking about as a team, what a team means, uh, what composure means, uh, playing inside of an organization of a team, uh, and how you help uh, with that team philosophy, and we lost our composure and ended up losing that game 4-0 uh, because a couple mistakes went against us and we didn't respond mentally tough enough to that thing. Uh, and so uh, we talked to the guys after the game, talked to the guys on Friday, uh, talked to the guys again some more on Saturday and prepared for Barry on Saturday, and we knew Barry was going to be another tough test. Uh, and the way that the guys responded on Saturday and how we played, I mean, our first half was probably one of the best, best first halves I've ever seen our guys play. Uh, outshot Barry 8-1 to one in the first half. Uh, defensively kept the ball in front of us, stayed organized, com communication was better, uh, supporting each other was better. Uh, second half got a little scary. Barry, uh, of course, being down 1-0, started throwing numbers and, uh, like crazy to the goal. Uh, started throwing, taking the guys out of the back and throwing them up high. Uh, but our guys were able to mentally stay in the game for 90 minutes, work together for 90 minutes, and able to get a good result. So coming back uh, with a split uh, uh, is better than coming back with uh, two losses, uh, but we know that we've got some of our better soccer played this last week, and so we're going to build on that. Absolutely, Coach. And uh, actually, I, I went back and watched a few of the, uh, few of the clips from that game um, on yesterday, and I think one of the more impressive things about – uh, you guys' big win against Barry College was uh, the defensive effort. I, I mean, there were a couple shots there on Barry's side that could have gone in, but mm -hmm. you guys, uh, between Brian Botello and, and a couple of the guys defending at the net, stopped those shots. So what to you was the more impressive uh, part of that game? Was it the, def was it the defense, uh, the mental aspect, or the resilience of your team? What was more impressive? I think it was the, uh, the, the chemistry and the, the resilience of the guys to partner together, uh, no matter who's on the field. And that's something we've been talking about. It doesn't matter who's on the field for us. It doesn't matter uh, if it's the starting 11 or if it's the next four guys off the bench because of our depth. I think it's just the guys knowing everybody, when you get on the field, we all have a job. It's not about Mark. It's not about me. It's not about Kenneth. It's about the team. Uh, and no one person is bigger than the team. And we've got to be understanding when we get on the field, we've got to take – take off where the last person left for us uh, and exceed and bring the same intensity, uh, the same work rate, uh, and the same emotion to the field. And so for those guys to, to battle together for 90 minutes, uh, to not surrender, to not quit, uh, it, it made me happy. It was one of those moments where you're like, man, they, it's, it's finally getting there. There's some things we still got to overcome, some things we still got to clean up, some things we still got to work out. Uh, but if we can do that for 90 minutes on a day in, day out, then we get to start the, the ceiling. We're going to go through it and we'll bust through it. And so that's what I'm ecstatic about right now. And this week, of course, is a perfect chance for you to kind of get some momentum going here as you're back on the road again, but taking on two ASC opponents for conference games, UMHB and Concordia. So just kind of talk about, for some of the guys that, you know, obviously you have not experienced uh, playing in conference games just yet, just kind of talk about, you know, what to expect from them and also for the guys that are very familiar with um, the competition. Yeah, this week's going to be tough. I mean, we got UMHB at UMHB, and we got Concordia down at their field. Uh, and so having these two games, I mean, we're two and one right now in non-conference, and we're zero zero in conference. And so it's that, and we can start off uh, on a good note or on a bad note. Uh, and every game in the conference can go either which way. And so it's important that we take advantage uh, of every opportunity. And so for our guys, uh, for our returners, they know. Uh, 
they're ready for Thursday night. They're ready for a rematch against UMHB. They're playing. They're they're a top-notch program. I mean, they're six. I think they're ranked 16 in the nation right now. Uh, made it uh, very far in the NCAA tournament last year. Won the conference last year. Uh, and so everybody's ready for UMHB. UMHB, UMHB is going to get everybody's best game because they all want to take down the number one team in the conference. Uh, and so we're going to be ready for that game. Freshmen, they're ecstatic because, I mean, we're going to sit down and talk to them about what this means. And for our goals and where we want to be in come the conference tournament, this is a game that we've got to show up for. Uh, and so we've got to start the conference off on the right note. And so we're ready for that. And uh, speaking of, Coach, that was actually kind of the, the, the route I was going to go here with. Uh, you got a lot of young guys on the team, a lot of uh, young, uh, great talent uh, for the future for you guys. So what will that conversation uh, be like uh, talking to them about the importance of these conference games. You know, what is the essential message you're, you're trying to, to, to give them going I think, forward? I think the big thing is to just play our style. Uh, I mean, each of these guys are different uh, from different backgrounds, different places, uh, different uh, cities, states, all that kind of stuff. But when we come together, we have the same philosophy. We all know the game. We know how we play. We know how we style, how you, how you fit within our style. And when we try to do too much, that's when we get in trouble. When we try to play outside of our skill level, when we try to play outside of our our, our sets, we get in trouble. And so as long as you can do your job, what you're good at, know our – and that's what we've been talking to the guys, know your strengths. My strength may not be your strength, but I'm going to play to my strength, which is going to help play to your strength. And when we when one guy tries to do too much, then that normally ends up costing us. And so for these freshmen – it's, a normal, it's another game. For our returns, it's another game. It's an important game. It's a, it's a game for conference, but we've got to play within our strengths, play within their individual strengths, but how that fits into our team philosophy, what we're going to do. Uh, and so we're ready. I know the guys are ready. Uh, they were in the weight room this morning at 630, getting a lift in. I uh, got to go see them and talk to them a little bit, and now, now they're in class, and now we're going to break down some film and fix some other areas we need to fix before Thursday, uh, look at UMHB a little bit more, uh, and then to get dialed in before we hit the road on Wednesday. Absolutely. All right, Coach. Well, best of luck to you this weekend as you take on both UMHB and Concordia. Stick around. We will be talking with our next head coach, Keely Peterson, after this.